Ka Halal Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah Ba Hashem Rakah Kadash Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the Akiyam on the four corners, putting this work in faith and in truth and sincerity. Salutations to all the confused in the faces of Akiyam across the four corners. And to any, um, and to the few sisters. I let a time to see the word of Yahweh Shem Shah and ominous meekness and silence. May the most high shine this light upon you. It's just a, a short video uh, showing the hypocrisy of Esau Edom. Um, like I said, it's going to be real short. Man speaks for itself, man. The hypocrisy of Esau Edom all speaks for itself. All right. Won't you accompany me to the ball? You don't wear a hat in the house, white man, even I know that. Dr. Schultz, what a rare Keep fighting, niggas. And I might have. What a rare Keep fighting, niggas. What a rare Keep fighting, niggas. And I might add, and all this. What a rare Keep fighting, niggas. Our objective is a lead. Uh, into all 32 clubs, uh, which was unanimous, is that we want people uh, to be respectful of the national anthem. We want people to stand. That's all personnel and make sure that uh, they treat this uh, moment in a respectful fashion. That's something. Respect the national anthem. Star Spangled Banner. Written by Francis T. Scott. Gonna skip the garbage. We'll go to the third verse. Where it reads, and where is that band who so violently swore that the havoc of war and the battle's confusion, a home and a country, should leave us no more? Their blood has washed out their fall footsteps pollution. No refuge could save the howling and the slave. The howling and the slave, you have no refuge here, okay? This free man that they're talking about, it's Esau Edom, man, okay? No refuge could save the hireling and the slave, man. You have no refuge, slave. You so-called Negroes, Latin Negroes were here in captivity, man. Okay? When this was written, man. Okay? So, let the hypocrisy continue. What we think we owe. We've uh, been very sensitive in making sure that we uh, give players choices. But we do believe uh, that that moment is an important moment. There's been incredible uh, engagement with the players uh, on this. We've talked to tens, if not hundreds, of players about this uh, over the last year or so to get their input, to understand their positions, and again, to respect them, as I think was uh, stated here. Uh, your first part of your question was, what happens if, um, if anyone is on the field and is disrespectful to the anthem or the flag, uh, there would be a fine from the league against the team. Uh, the team will have its own work rules, will be consistent with the overall policy, and they will make their own decisions about how to manage that from there. Hey, Andy. Jokes, what a rare keep fighting, niggas. And I might add, and all. Jokes, what a rare keep fighting, niggas. And I might add, and all. Jokes, what a rare keep fighting, niggas.